Alright, when you think of Gorilla Tag's most glitchy map, what do you think of? Maybe it's basement with its small map, or maybe it's beach map with its water physics. Life would be a dream if I could take you up in paradise up above. But what if I told you it was actually the canyon's map? Heading on into Gorilla Tag's most glitchy map because there's a multitude of glitches you can do in here as you've seen through my videos. Such as some of these on screen, but watch to the end to see all of them. Starting off with number one, zip hopping. Zip hopping is very easy because all you need to do is let hold down your grip and then let go before you jump off of this. And then it launches you pretty high. You can use this to escape from lava monkeys or in any other game mode, etc. You can also use this at multiple different areas, like can you touch this? No. Right here, you can uh, hit when you before you hit off of this spot, like this little wood. If you let go of the grip while you're holding it, then you can zip hop. Let me just do that again. That was decent. Also, with zip hopping, it creates another way to zip hop, which is just by having your hand on something else and grabbing onto the zip line. Or you can do this on ropes as well. And then hopping off of this and let going of your grip when you do it. So it's like that, and you can just, yeah. But heading on to another glitch that involves jumping. Number two is super jumping, which kind of gotten patched over time, but you can still basically do it. If you grab onto a rope, you bring your hand over, you have your hand on top of it and let go once you jump off. And you can jump to like over here and you can do it back by putting your hand over. It used to not do this, but since they tried to patch it, it's kind of buggy. Oh, my hand's inside the little metal thing. But speaking of super, that brings us to our next two glitches. Heading on to number three, rope slapping. Or when I made this glitch, it was called super jumping, but people, like, claimed it, I guess. So all you want to do, holding down your grip, you'd want to sling your left hand as fast as you can. Like, boom, boom, you know? Onto, from your left hand on the surface, you go, boom, like that. Don't disconnect your tracking like I just did. And also, while doing that, you would want to sling your right controller toward the rope so it'll be like that and basically it tricks the game to thinking you have a lot of momentum and then making you to go fast on the rope this can also be used to get out the map uh, nah, nah, nah. but heading on to number four number four is called super zip lining super zip line is best performed right here because the land it's also be performed over there and like some other places i guess but what I'm gonna do, do the same thing you do while you're super swinging and flick your left controller, hold down the grip, flick your right controller toward the zip line. And then, as you can see, you start going fast. Oh, I just touched something. But yeah, you start going fast, very easy way to get it from people that are chasing you. On to number five. Number five is kind of like super swinging, but it's called menu slapping. And menu slapping is also used to escape the map, like right here, going to tutorial, or right there, going above that. But how to menu slap is very simple. They patched it before, but all you want to do is go into your menu, left controller in the ground behind you like that. Make sure it's right there, right? And then you're while holding down your right grip, you'd want to have your controller in front of you with a rope in front of you. And then once you let go of your Oculus button, while your left controller is in the ground, right controller is in front of you, it would sling you. Like, it will be like rope slapping. Like that. Oh, and I'm stuck. But that brings us on to number six, which is escaping the map, getting to tutorial. Which this uses menu slapping. You don't want to push this rope back. Jump right here. Once actually, you have to be doing this glitch with your right controller in the ground and left controller in front of you. You can also do it the other way, but yeah, I'm going to be doing it this way because it's more comfortable for me. And also make sure not to be right here, right here, because this little pillow thing will mess you up when you do this sometimes. But when you do this, you'd want to be aiming for that little crevice right there. So you want to be right here, wait until the rope gets right there, and then you want to hit that way. I'm going to demonstrate this real quick. Oh, look at that. You could tell you're going to go into tutorial if you can see the little wood thing, and you're exactly that distance from it. But now you're in tutorial, which is pretty cool. I have a multitude, a bunch of videos about things you can do in tutorial and other ways you can get to the tutorial. But that brings us on to another way to get to the tutorial.
7 and 8 are going to be both glitches to get to tutorial, which are in videos that I've posted in the past, and also in a- I'm pretty sure I have a playlist about how to get to tutorial from canyons. But for 7, I'm going to be jumping to tutorial because there's another glitch coming up that involves numbers 8. Which number 8 is actually going to be that glitch, and the number 9 is going to be the way to get to tutorial using that glitch. Using any way they can think of to get out the map, all you'd want to do is parkour along the canyon's edge. And once you get right here, you basically have to have Lava Monkey on this, you can glitch walk. But you want to get over here, glitch walk to you. Oh, mama mia. Oh, I had to turn down my turn because that was kind of disorientating me. What do you want to do when you get right here? Uh, jump. You can do anything else to get over there, but I would... This is just what I do. I like to glitch walk because I'm very good at it. And then jump up here, pinch climb right here, then get your hand out. You can use any other way to do that. And then, as you can see, there's this wood piece right here. And if you use this wood piece to jump exactly that direction, praying to God, you'll make it to tutorial. If I don't, just trust me because you saw the last clip and it was that far away. So, I kind of, I, I forgot a little bit where tutorial was. So, I'm just going to pray. I can make it. No, I made it under. Oh, and I'm falling. But as you saw, uh, I almost made it. It's possible. I have videos about how to do it in a playlist, I'm pretty sure. But let's get on to number eight. Number eight is a tracking glitch that is used for the zip lines or ropes, depending on what you want to do. But the zip lines are better because other people can see you doing it. If you want to be incognito, do it on the ropes. But to get up the map, all you want to do, get onto a rope and then have your left controller either on the ground. I put it under my chin for fast access. But for this, I'll put it on the ground because some of you don't put it on your chin, I guess. And while holding your controller, I'm going to use this control, this hand to represent what it looks like in real life. With your left hand, for this tracking ring right here, facing where your thumb is, go like that. And you'd want to gently smack it. People in the past have had problems where they smack it really hard, break their tracking ring, it's horrible. But all you need to do is gently smack it, and it's fine. So once you're flying, you'd want to use your right joystick once you get right here to turn around and let go right here. And as you can see, your controller might be like flying away. Just, oh, it came back to me. But if it's far away and you, it doesn't come back to you, just smack it on your hip at like gently hard. And then it'll, it'll just uh, jolt back to you. Make sure not to be holding on the rope when you do that because then it would fling you back into the map. But from here, you can do things like, well, you can do, yeah, it's cool. But let me get on to the next way to get to the tutorial, which involves using that glitch. So while you jump over there to load in forest, all you'd want to do is jump right here, jump up, come back up here, get right here, and do the flying glitch again. Once you're doing the flying glitch, use your joystick to turn this way. And you would be flying up here to get on top of the map. Boom. Now you're on top of forest. There's another way to get to the tutorial, but this is the easiest way because you can actually see where you're going. And you can also just glitch walk up there to get to the tutorial. But this is also a way to get on top of the map. This is also cool because on top of the map, they've added a volcano. Get up there. There's a whole little area over there. But we're going to be heading back to canyons because there's more glitches to discover. So for the 10th glitch, it's going to be using the way to get out the map and getting to the new map, that, that little uh, pyramid thing. I have actually never done this before. Oh my lord, this is not what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh. Ah! So you want to do load in city. Oh my god, my game froze. Oh, that was scary. I thought I was about to die. Load in city. <laughs> Sit right here. If you know how to get on top of the city, it's not very... Actually, I just messed up. Womp womp. Yeah, but it's not very a hassle if you already know how to get on top of city. But also, if, I'm pretty sure I have videos about how to get. No, no, no. Actually, <sighs> there's probably a video out there that I have that explains how to get on top of city or somewhere in a video. Or you could just watch what I'm doing right now. But you want to get down, secret bunker. Oh. And I actually have no idea how to do this. So I'm going to be winging it. Yeah. 
I'm scared. How? Okay, I'm gonna just like put my control on the ground and like run away from the controller. Don't, 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 don't. don't. Oh! I did it, but it didn't load in the map. <laughs> That's a problem. So, the map didn't load, but this happened. Let me try to figure out how to load in the map. Come on. Forget enough if I can load in the map. No! No. No. Go down. I don't wanna. I don't wanna go up. <sighs> I don't want to go up. Man. Well, trust me, it's possible there's a way to do it. I don't know how to do it. So, yeah. Also, a disclaimer. Do not download the mobile Gorilla Tag game or whatever because it, it has malware in it. You can see electronics posts on it. Do not download it at all. So, that's going to be it for all the glitches and canyons. If I miss something because my brain's kind of blanking out right now, I'll make a follow-up video about other things that you can do in canyons or a youtube short if it's a short thing that I'd not really care about but that's gonna be it for this video make sure to subscribe and like join the discord it's the first link in my description and join code mexa in gorilla tag to meet me in game because i'm in there every single day and also do all that if you enjoyed the video and you help found this helpful at all because glitches are fun don't do them in public lobbies as i say in every video and see you later